Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am doing a video I've really wanted to do for a long time. Today I'm going to be talking about hair extensions, particularly hair extensions from IrresistibleMe.com. I will say right up the front, this is not sponsored, but Irresistible Me did reach out and gift me a full set of their royal hair extensions that I'm actually wearing right now. And I went, not like undercover, but then on my own, I went and I purchased a wig from the company as well. So this is going to be a review of the hair extensions and the wig that I purchased with my own monies <laughs> as well. For those of you who haven't been around my channel a while or really don't know me and my hair journey, this might seem a bit out of left field, but even back when like I was straightening and blow drying my hair, I really wanted to try hair extensions. Specifically because, <laughs> again, I feel like a lot of things that I like is because of Taylor Wynn, formerly the Taylor, but she, I loved her hair. I wanted my hair to be like her hair. I used to blow dry it. I used to straighten my hair all the time. And even then, I think the longest, I used to have hair down to my waist, but in recent years, the longest it got was right around here. I really wanted to try out hair extensions because on top of the length factor, I had only recently realized that a lot of like the beautiful oh, dramatic hair looks, the like braid across the top of the head, all of these tutorials for hair that I was more recently getting back into because I'm trying to embrace my curly hair, they all utilized hair extensions. Like, I mean, you can do hair looks on your own, but if you're looking at these big, beautiful, gorgeous like looks, nine times out of ten, it's not all their hair. <laughs> And I used to feel really bad about that. I used to feel like, oh, I just suck at hair. My hair isn't that good. I can't do all these hairstyles just because I don't have enough hair. And I have a lot of hair. My hair is thick. <laughs> but it's because they're using hair extensions. So I've always had like this like little seed of desire to want to try hair extensions just because there's so many things you can do with them because you can add the length, you can add the volume, you can do like specifically, if you can't tell, I really want to do a cute like braided headband look with it, which I'm going to do another day. But all of this just like came back to me when Irresistible Me reached out about these hair extensions. And I was ecstatic and I said, yes, I cannot wait to fully try and test these out. They reached out to me in November. So I've been working with these hair extensions. I've been styling them, washing them, trying them for over a month. And I wanted to take that time to actually get to know these extensions and say to you guys, my subscribers, whether or not they are worth it because they are a bit pricey. I'm not a stranger to spending a bit more on hair care and hair products and wigs specifically. My, if you've been around for a bit, I have a black to silver wig, which is originally what I wanted to do to my hair and why I bleached my hair and why it looked like really bad for over a year. But that's what I was going for. I really wanted the black to silver. So um, I bought from another company just the wig of it. And now whenever I feel like I'm in that mood that I want to have that hair color, pop the wig on. It's so much easier. It protects your hair. Do it that way. <laughs> and that was about $100 for that wig. And it's a nice wig and I still have it. I keep it on like an old lamp that's not plugged in. <laughs> Don't turn on the lamp when you have your wig on top of it. But I still keep it. I wear it every now and then and I still really like it. So I'm not a stranger to spending a bit more for wigs or kind of hair products. The specific clip-ins I'm going to be talking about today from Irresistible Me are from their Royal Collection, which is, according to their website, their thickest extensions. It's also apparently the number one bestseller. I got the shade Royal Jet Black number one, and I got it in 16 inches the length. So when you first get the extensions, they look a little bit like this. This is one of the two clips right here you can see in the back. So this is what the actual clips look like. They clip in out and that's what they look like from the front. And this is the length. So this is the 16 inch length. So looking at their website, these are actually on sale. So the 16 inches Royal Jet Black number one are going for $155.35. So right out the bat, if you want to save some time, I do think they're worth that price. I think the original price of the $239 is a lot. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I would spend over 200 on hair extensions, but the 150 I think is excellent for these hair extensions. They are 100% human hair. You can, if you want to, get blonde. You can dye them. You can cut them. You can style them. And I had to style them because as you can see, they come pretty much straight. 
they're very straight. So a lot of the testing that I did with these extensions at first was just figuring out how best to get them to look like my natural hair. So I'm actually wearing a few of the clip-ins right now, and I think I did a pretty dang good job of blending them in and styling them in with my natural curly hair. So before I show you how I actually got all of these styled, let's talk a little bit about what you're actually getting for that right now, the 155. You get one large four clip weft. And they did mention to me in the email that this is actually available for purchase on its own. I couldn't find it specifically on the website, but the four clip weft, which is what I'm wearing on the very bottom of my hair, you'll see in the application, you can actually buy that on its own. So you can buy that individually. I'm pretty sure you can't buy any of the other, the two, three clips individually. So let's take a look at all the hair that you get. The first one, like I mentioned before, is the four clip. This is the biggest weft that you're going to get and it has a lot of hair in it. This is how it looks after I've styled it. You also get two three clips, which also have a decent amount of hair. You get four two clips, and then you get these really adorable two one clips. So to me, that is a lot of hair. Currently, I was ready to put in as much as I could, and I ended up with um, one, two, three of the two clips left, and then two, both of the single clips left over. I didn't have enough room to actually put them in today, but I am wearing the rest of the clips in my hair right now. So let's actually get into how I was able to style these extensions, which is a total new thing for me. It was one journey to figure out how to take care of and work with my natural hair. It was another thing entirely to figure out how to take this beautiful but very straight hair and make it look like mine. The first thing I did was give them a gentle co-wash. So if you're not part of the curly hair community, you don't know what a co-wash is, it's essentially just washing with a conditioner instead of a shampoo. I really didn't want to damage these. These are supposed to last for like forever, so I want to take very good care of them. And I thought using a co-wash was the best way to do that and not strip them, not dry them out, and it's also fairly close to my own routine. So I gave them a nice gentle co-wash. I'm currently in the middle of testing a bunch of different shampoos right now, so I don't want to mention a specific shampoo, but a few shampoos shampoos that I like for co-washing come from Diva Curl and from uh, there's this new line at Sally's that's supposed to dupe Diva Curl, and I've been using their shampoo, which is basically just a really thick conditioner co-wash. That one was also very good for this purpose. After I washed the wefts, I, is it called weft? I'm gonna call them clips. After I washed each clip, I was careful to not like get the top part wet. I just basically like washed it from here down. Once I washed all of them, I actually braided them. So I did a few experiments because I do have some curling irons and I was curling the hair on its own, seeing what would work best, what would look closer to my hair. And it wasn't looking right. So what I did is while it was still wet, I would braid the hair into small little braids and then I would let it completely dry within those braids. I left it for a couple of days actually to fully dry in the braids. And when I unbraided them, they had a really nice texture to them. Once they were unbraided and they had that texture, then I went in and curled them. And that's what gave me the most realistic and closest to my own texture that I was able to come up with. And I think it turned out really beautiful. So after that whole process, 
this is what they ended up looking like. So you can kind of brush them through like this. And I just think the braiding gave them this nice like little wavy texture that you can see like in my own hair. And then the curls just turned out beautiful. It was a bit of a long process. <laughs> uh, washing all of them and braiding them took me probably an hour and a half at least um, once they were fully dry. And I was using the, um, I have this half inch curling iron that I just got on Amazon. Using this to curl all of them took me probably at least another hour and a half. So it is time intensive. It was a long process, but I think it was worth it. Through the video clips of me uh, styling the hair, you can also see how I am storing them. I talked to the representative from Irresistible Me, and they said the best way to store the extensions is to hang them just like from hangers. So that's what I did. I had this big hanger. You're supposed to hang, I guess, pants from it, and it's got little clips on it. So I just hung all of my extensions from that hanger. That is one difference I noticed between getting the extensions and getting the wig in the um, in the mail and from the company. The extensions just came in a box and there wasn't anywhere to store them because I guess they really want you to hang them up. When I got the wig, it came in this nice little bag that you can keep using. And then within the bag, the wig came nicely kept. So that's the way you're supposed to store the wig. And I do like that they gave you both the plastic bag and this nice bag to actually store it because the first wig that I mentioned that I bought for around $100 from the other company came with nothing. <laughs> it was just a cardboard box. So I do like having the bag. It's, it makes it really easy to store and really easy to organize. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's go out and jump into how I actually installed the clips that I'm wearing right now. Okay, so we're here for the application and what I did is I have all of my hair up in a pineapple. I should probably tilt this up a little bit so you can see. I have all my hair up into a pineapple except for the very bottom. I sectioned out just right here down because all the videos, I watched so many videos to get ready for this, all the videos said that you had to pin up your shortest hair in the back in order to stop it from like being really visible around the rest of the extensions. So this is the biggest, I don't know what's it called, a weft. It's got the four clips in it and this is what I'm going to be applying in first. So essentially I took the hair that was the shortest and I braided it up and I pinned it behind me. Let me see if I can, yes. Yeah, so I pinned it to like right behind my head and I'm gonna try and just pin this like right below where I pinned the actual hair just so that the hair doesn't actually fall out. <laughs> So I've got a mirror in front of me and I'm going to basically center this. Let me see. Clip the middle two right here. Basically taking it to like right behind my ear. That feels nice, that feels secure. Oh, and it looks cute. Okay, so the next goal is basically to take another let's see, a little bit of hair down. So we'll take a little bit, like just to right above my ears, I think. And then I wanna put in the two next biggest ones. So we've got some three clips that I styled and I think we can do three, not three, we can do two, three clips like around my head. So what I wanna do is first take this one, let's see. Then we're gonna take the other one, do basically the same thing. I'm setting this back a little bit because I did see in a lot of videos and read that if you have your extensions too close to your face, it makes it very like obvious. So I'm gonna try and keep them from back there. Where did the last clip go? <laughs> okay, so this is what we are looking like so far. Hmm. One thing that is like really tough with curly hair is like getting even parts like up here. Okay, so up here I want to add in we've got a bunch of these two clips. There's four of them total. I think I'm only gonna need like two or three. So I'm gonna add these just like right up here. So 
So I, de I definitely need to do a little bit of just melding and styling up on the top, but that is the application. I only used about half of the hair. Ooh, I think it looks cute. I need to like fix my curls up here since the one thing about like putting it up and putting it down in the pineapple to get them in is that these get a little bit messed up. So I'm gonna go and fix those and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and the bangs on this side really didn't want to cooperate, which is fairly typical. I tend to pin my bangs back quite often. So I just pinned those back and gave myself a little poof and overall, I'm actually really liking the effect. It's much more voluminous, especially on first day hair. I did just wash my hair this morning and I let it 95% air dry. So it's like my most flat day that I will ever have. And it's giving me so much nice volume. Like what I want to do is like a nice like half up, half down and like have all of this cascading. It looks so pretty. So let's see. And this side. I will say I'm lucky that I have thick hair so I really don't feel like any of the clips or anything are actually visible just because of how thick my hair naturally is. The only downside I'm seeing so far is that it's not like an exact color match. So like right now I think it looks pretty okay but like if I were to go out into like natural sunlight there would be um, a color difference. That could be on me though. I did pick up the darkest kind of blue black shade of the extensions and i picked that up because i did recently dye my hair with madison reed hair dye if you missed that video i'll throw it up in the cards but in that video i did dye it a deep blue black so i was hoping that this would match that it's just a little bit off but we'll see i'd have to actually see it in full natural sunlight to see how like different it looks but i think if i were to just use like um a couple of uh, like clips here and there, like in an elaborate hairstyle, I don't think it would be standing out like that much. Overall, this looks beautiful. I, I like it, it's comfortable. I would definitely wear it for another video. I am probably going to wear this for New Year's. So I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. Tonight, we're not really doing much, but tomorrow we're gonna do all of our festivities. So I did want something to make me look a little bit more glam on New Year's and I think this is it. So that's how I installed what I have right now. I really want to do more follow-up videos on different hairstyles I can do with these because honestly, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the quality. I'm loving how they feel, how they look, how they wear. I'm obsessed. And I do feel the same about the wig. So I did purchase the wig on my own. They did not send me the wig. I actually did wear this wig in a previous video of mine. I'll throw that video up in the cards if you want to see me actually wearing it. But I have worn it since then and I do think it's a good quality wig. I think it's definitely at least as good as the other black and silver wig that I have. And I do like that this came with an actual storage bag which the other wig did not. I purchased this pink wig during their Black Friday sale and I think that's the key to products from this website they look like like if you look at the original pricing they all look expensive but almost everything either goes on sale fairly often or there's a coupon code so i bought this wig for 30 dollars during their black friday sale and that was a steal i would say if you really want to try these out i would say wait to the black friday sale we'll see if they have another big sale um coming up i hope they do because 30 dollars i said was a steal for that wig and i think everything was on sale for Black Friday. I didn't see how much of a sale the extensions were on, which I should have, but I know right now that they're already on like a good discount, which is that 155, which I think is probably the most that I would pay for these personally, knowing their quality. Okay, so I think that is everything. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to be embracing my natural hair and trying something different and doing some more hairstyles. The last thing I just want to say is that the company did mention a 20% off coupon code for anyone who is first trying out their products. You cannot use this coupon code if the product is already on sale. So like these extensions, if they're on sale for the 155, you can't use the 20% off on top of it. Also, the 20% off is not commission. It's not affiliate. It's not related to me like at all. It's just a way to give you guys a little bit off of a full price item if you want it but I really would recommend just waiting keeping an eye on the website seeing what you want and then just keeping an eye to see when it goes on like a nice sale all right so that is a wrap thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what other kind of hair styling hair care videos you want to see from me I definitely want to do a full week of curly hairstyles like 
a week of like work appropriate school appropriate hairstyles showing you like my updated wash day routine too and i do want to use some of these extensions to do some more hairstyles so that will be coming soon but if there's anything else that you guys want to see please let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye i feel so fancy like a movie star from the 40s <laughs>